Hey y'all, it's Sandy with Little House on Metairie. Welcome to my home. If you are new here, I just wanted to say hi and introduce myself. And if you are coming back to visit my channel again, thank you so much. I truly appreciate you. Today's video, we will be transitioning our kitchen and front porch for spring. We did an Easter decorate with me and added a little bit of spring touches. But in today's video, we are going to continue the no spend challenge by using what I have, repurposing or shopping my home to transition it from Easter to full spring. So that's what we're going to do today. I want to take you guys along with me. So let's get to decorating. So like the video intro said, we are here in the kitchen and we're going to be removing all of the things that I had put out for Easter slash spring and transition it just to spring. So we're going to start here at the table. This was the tablescape that we created for this year's Easter. And my challenge this spring is a no buy challenge. So if this is your first time here, uh, this year for spring, I have decorated uh, different rooms in my home without spending any money by repurposing things, shopping my home, and just reusing them in a different way. I pulled out a few things for spring, but I also kept in mind when I decorated it for Easter that I wanted just a simple transition from Easter to spring, especially since Easter was so early this year. We want to keep it just light and airy for spring this year before moving into the fun summer months. So I had bought this table runner from uh, Home Goods this year for Easter, and it's not a reversible one, but I am going to make it reversible just by flipping it over. It has this beautiful satin um, kind of tan color, and I am just going to cut off this the tag on this side and flip it over, and we are going to use it as a reversible one this spring. So now that I have removed all of the Easter decor on the table, it's time to do just a simple switch over for spring. Do you love transitioning your home for all the different holidays and seasons through decorating, DIYs, repurposing? I am also a certified aromatherapist and I love sharing all of our family's recipes and blends throughout the different seasons. So I would love for you to hit that notification bell and subscribe if you haven't already done so so you can join our little house on the metairie family i would love to have you so now that i have flipped over the table runner i'm going to add the basket back to the center but before we uh, put everything back in the basket i want to put each of the place settings back in their place So inside the basket, I'm going to add back this arrangement that I had made for Easter. I just took the carrots, uh, the little faux carrots off of it, and I knew it'd be a beautiful piece to keep out for springtime. And then I'm adding this little hen. I have a rooster. It came as a set. My sweet uh, father-in-law had blessed us with this years ago, and he has since passed away, so it's a piece of treasure. So I'm going to add him right here inside the basket, and I'm going to keep out the rolling pin that... Uh, I had out for uh, Easter as well. This we bought from the old antique schoolhouse shopping trip that you might uh, recall if you watched that video. So now that I retired the cute little bunny napkin ring holders, I want to keep this table escape very casual. So I'm just folding the napkin that I had out in two like this. I'm tucking the top down just a tad so that it can kind of just uh, lay over each uh, place setting. So I'm just going to lay it like this over each of the placemats and then I'm just going to place each plate on top like this. I'm gonna quickly off camera finish all of the place settings and then we'll take a closer look of how it all turned out. Now I'm going to remove the carrots and the little bag that I had also on this 
a hanger that was a piece that my father-in-law gave us. And I want to put the basket that I have right here on the bench. I'm going to take out the carrot uh, towel and leave it just as is and just hook it uh, back right here. I frequently like to add it to this um, little hook and just dress it up for each holiday. And I think it'll be perfect. Put back right here for spring. Next, I'm going to remove the uh, orange blanket and I'm just going to take the pillow that I already have out right here which was the little carrot pillow and I'm just going to turn it around and it'll match perfectly again for spring with my no buy challenge it's a perfect pillow that I can reuse again and then next on this bench again with no buy and I'm going to use what I have I'm just going to flip around this adorable bunny pillow to this side and I'm going to keep out this precious uh, tan and cream colored pillow and that's all I'm going to do to this part of the room I am not a minimalist but for springtime I just like my home just to breathe before we have fun and start decorating it for summertime so in this corner of the kitchen, I have this area that I'm going to remove the little uh, tin bunny that also came from the antique schoolhouse. And I'm going to replace it with this cute sign that I bought from Hobby Lobby that says, May your journey always lead you home. And I hope my children always remember this saying all the days of their lives. So above this antique phone that was actually in our home when we bought it, I want to put a picture. I had placed one similar to this above our fireplace this year for spring, and I have another one, so I want to add it right here on this wall. Now we're gonna head over to the treat bar. So I had bought this treat bar at an estate sale for $35 and I knew and saw its potential, although it was ugly and it was orange. I wanted to do the oven cleaner method, which is where you just spray oven cleaner and it just antiques it and ages it while stripping off uh, any paint or veneer or stain that it may have. And I absolutely love how it turned out. I'll put it in the description box below exactly how to do that if you're not familiar familiar with it, but I'm putting up some pictures of how much fun I've had transitioning it from our cocoa bar and loving it so much, I decided to keep it up all year and transition it from season to season. So I went ahead and removed the cross and then I'm replacing the bunny trail sign with this beautiful uh, canvas that I bought from Hobby Lobby. So I'm going to quickly fix the crooked picture and then I'm going to go ahead and leave the basket with the Reese's carrots. I'm really surprised that there's uh, four left. My kids only ate two, but it's going to still go with the spring theme. So I'm leaving that there and I'm just removing the Easter things right here in the center. And I'm going to put this little bird's nest underneath this mini cake holder that I got from Pop Shelf, which again will be a cute little spring vignette right here. Keeping it simple, I'm gonna add just the carrot back. And then I did decide to put this little wooden bunny back on the side. So I had a little Easter egg plate in the center right here and I took that away and I'm just going to slide these two beautiful spring plates down. These were plastic and bought from Pop Shelf this year. So keeping with my no spend for spring decor, I am just rearranging the treat bar with what's left. I'm gonna keep these cups that we have left out in this little watering can. And then I'm going to just add back all of the treats we have, which quite honestly, guys, it's not a lot, but that's okay. We had so much sugar here for Easter that I'm fine with just keeping it simple and what's left out. Uh, either for some more hot cocoa evenings or just a little bit of treats left. So this is how we're keeping it simple this spring. So we have a four organic cheese puffs left. So I'm going to keep those in the wheelbarrow. And then I'm really surprised that we have the two cake pops. We only had two to start. And none of my kids realized, I guess, that it was a cake pop which I did tell them, but I guess they forgot and it did not get eaten. So as I'm filming this, my daughter did want one, but I said, just wait one more day. <laughs> so there'll only be one left shortly, but I wanted to show you guys this cute stem that I found while decorating for spring. And when I saw it, it reminded me of cabbage leaves. So I thought it'd be really cute, just kind of tucked right here in the flower pot. So we're pretty much done with this area now. So now we're going to move down to the last two shelves here at the bottom of the treat bar. So 
the first thing I'm going to do is remove this uh, three-tier tray that I bought from Target. We don't need it anymore. And then this cute uh, Target box also that uh, I had down here for Easter. And then I'm going to remove this little cute faux plant that also was put here for Easter. So I think pretty much everything else I'm going to leave out. I'm just going to kind of rearrange a few things here and there. And I'm noticing that the little pretzels and the malted eggs did not get eaten. But I don't have anything to switch them out. And again, I'm not going to buy anything. So I'm just going to leave them here. They're still good and still can be eaten. So I'm going to just keep those at the top. I'm going to keep the rest of the uh, cups that we have left over inside the little toolbox. I'm going to move the saucers and bowls down here and then just kind of rearrange the uh, glasses. I'm going to put two next to the toolbox and then the other two I'm going to put back inside the tray. And before we take a tour of the kitchen, apparently I have someone who wants to tell you guys hi <laughs> or either that or she wants me to hold her. But if this is your first time here, that is our sweet Daisy. We have a dog named Belle and she had some puppies and that is one of her puppies that we decided to keep and they are just a, such a joy to us. So now we are all done and we're going to just tour really quick around the kitchen before we head outside and prepare the porch for spring. Now let's head outside and go prepare our front porch for spring. Now we're going to just make a few simple changes here on the front porch from Easter to spring. So if this is your first time here, I DIY'd this uh, planter box sign. Um, it's been many years and I love to decorate it and prepare it for each holiday and season. So I just removed the grass bunny and I'm going to go ahead and just kind of move around the tulips and keep those out for spring. Now it's time to remove this beautiful terracotta egg and this Easter wreath. 
So I'm going to go ahead and keep out this watering can with the green stem. It'll still be fitting for spring. And then this welcome home sign has this hook. And when I bought it from Amazon, it actually has a four wreaths that you can use for the different uh, seasons. And unfortunately, I lost the spring one. So I'm doing the no buy uh, challenge for spring. So I just went shop my home and found this cute bird's nest. And I think it looks cute right here on the sign. But if you're interested in a sign like this, I will link it in the description box below. Like I said, it's from Amazon and you can use it year round. So I really like um, having it here on the porch or you could even put it somewhere inside. And then I'm going to just nestle these uh, terracotta pots right here from the Dollar Tree and we're all done. Below the shelf, I have this fern and I'm gonna go ahead and take this cute bunny out of it. On the porch swing, I'm leaving out the sage green and white checkered one and just adding this lumbar pillow that says it is well with my soul. The pillow cover came from Amazon. I believe it was in a pack of two, but I will link that below if you are interested in getting some for your home. So now I'm gonna quickly remove the egg uh, garland around the door frame, and we're gonna keep it simple because we're gonna soon come out here and transition the porch to summer. So when I had DIY'd these baskets with the tulips for Easter, I knew that they could be used well into spring, so they're staying here on the doors. So I'm gonna go ahead and remove the Happy Easter doormat and just leave the black one out for spring. I went pack away the rest of the Easter things um, off camera, and I'm just gonna go ahead and move this milk can and nestle it right here between the cabinet and the door. And then I have these two lanterns that I had out for uh, Easter, and I think I'll still leave them out for spring. And on top of this milk can, I'm gonna add this cute watering can with tulips that I had on our uh, coffee table area out here, because I'm gonna put something else in its spot. I'm gonna move this crate that I had on the other side to this side of the door, and I'm just gonna go get a cute little watering can, a flower pot that I had made up for Easter, and I'm gonna place it right here. So on top of this cabinet, I'm gonna remove the terracotta bunny uh, that I had out for Easter. So this cabinet was my grandparents. I painted it and I put it out here on our porch to house all of our gardening supplies. So I think I'm gonna leave out this um, tin. I'm just gonna turn it around. It had the bunny on the front of it and I could have left it for spring, but it's such a cute tin. Even the back part I like cause it's just real rustic looking. And I'm just going to fluff the fern that's been in here uh, for a while. My sweet sister-in-law gave me a whole bunch of faux uh, plants and this was one of them. So to mimic the other set of terracotta pots I put on the shelf on the other side of the door, I wanna add a set of three right here on this cabinet as well. So before we decorate the conversation area, I'm gonna remove this bunny wreath that I had hanging here. And then I had another one of those grass bunnies tucked inside this arrangement. So I removed that as well, and I'm just gonna rearrange the tulips. It's time to take down the wreath cross. So I leave this grapevine one up, the really big one. And sometimes I'll place a smaller one on the inside to make it appear fuller. And I had a DIY one that I made a couple of years ago. So I'm gonna add that one here. It's a little bit more spring-like. Now it's time to decorate the conversation area. I just switched out the pillow that I had here for Easter with this home sweet home one. And then we're gonna just rearrange the coffee table a little bit. I already removed everything I had out for Easter. And I'm gonna put this large uh, lantern. It's um, just simple, it's white, and I'm gonna put a bird's nest with a candle inside of it. So the last thing I'm going to add to the coffee table is a solar lamp. I think this one's so cute. I love to bring it out every spring and summer. I think this uh, came from Hobby Lobby. I'll try to link everything that I can below from memory.
so I have this shelf that I thrifted at an estate sale and I want to go ahead and leave out this bunny and candle just because I don't really have much else to put right here not a lot of decor can come outside that I have left so I'm just going to remove the lavender stems and just leave the white and green ones right here and then I think this will still be perfect for spring For the finishing touches, I'm adding this picture to this end of the porch, and then on the walkway leading up to the porch, I'm going to add this spring flag. Now let's take a closer look of how it all turned out. Well, friends, I had so much fun transitioning our home this year for spring and not spending any money. So I hope I gave you guys lots of ideas to just know that you can decorate by shopping your home, repurposing and reusing things. So it has been a busy season for us. Uh, we've been pretty much gone every weekend. It's dance competition season. So uh, we have been, like I said, busy and haven't had a chance to get out here and do some painting and garden projects. So hopefully those videos will be coming up shortly as our dance competition season is coming to an end. And then we're going to do some allergy blends because we've been suffering with that. And I want to share that with you guys again this year. And then we're going to move on to summer decorating. So I am so excited for the summer to begin. I look forward to bringing you guys along with me as we transition from spring into summer. So again, make sure you like and subscribe to this channel. It really does help me and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. We have lots of plan and lots to look forward to. Until next time, friends. Bye for now.